Are you ready to spiritually clean house and keep it that way? Hey tribe, Donna here from Transformational Healing. And today we are going to talk about house clearing. And I mean spiritually and energetically clearing out the energy in your home so that you can make it a serene and calm space for you to live in and for your family and to keep all the negativity outside of your home and how to deal with negativity when it comes into your home. But first, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my videos that are designed to help you come back to a place of balance and peace so that you can move forward in your life. One of the questions that I am asked the most about how to use spiritual things is how to cleanse and get rid of negative energy, how to break curses, and how to cleanse the energy of your home. So today, we will talk about that. But my initial response is that there are as many ways to clear and cleanse the energy of your home, of any space, or around yourself, your own energy, as there are people in this world, as there are different paths that you can follow, because we each follow our own path and we're each going to be drawn to different things. Each of the items that you choose will work for you if you are using the proper intention. That is why I did the video on intention. If you missed that video, you should definitely check it out. I will make sure that it's in the description below and it will pop up at the end of this video. Intention is the key to living your life in a spiritual way. It's the key to manifesting everything that you want. It's the key to just living. So, spiritual cleansing or clearing of your living space all of these items can be used to spiritually and energetically cleanse and clear your house, to fill it with positive energy, and to keep it that way. The ones that you choose are up to you. Many choose to smudge or smoke cleanse with sage and cedar and sweet grass, or perhaps you use mugwort and lavender instead or Palo Santo is also a popular choice. You can literally light a candle and carry it around your home. A simple candle like this or a chime candle will work perfect. Just be sure that you do it carefully and you don't catch anything on fire. You can't burn things? Well, you can use sound like drums and tambourines and bells or singing bowls. And this is actually a great way to involve your children in helping to clear out the energy in the house. Having them run around and jingle and jangle all kinds of different rattles and things while you have the intention of it clearing the house and they know that they're scaring away the things that are under their bed can work very well for that. You can use sprays, aromatherapy sprays, like my sage cleanse, or purification, or detox, or even the disinfectant deodorizer spray that I create for cleaning your house can, and keeping it bacteria and virus free. You can actually use that as well with intention to cleanse your house spiritually and to get rid of things that way. Many people will use holy water or salt water or anneal or Florida water, um, the blue, uh, bay rum, uh, water, from, water from your Jericho flower can also be used as a spiritual water to cleanse your home. You can use crystals like selenite to keep the energy in your home fresh and clear, and it clears the negativity from everything in the space. We have the very large one that you saw in our front window, and it just helps to cleanse the energy as it comes in. 
my desire is to express to you that you can use almost anything to cleanse and clear the energy of your home. You just have to have the proper intention. Now, if there are certain ways or certain things and herbs or different things that I mentioned that you really want specific videos about that I can do for you, I will do videos on very specific things on how to cleanse and clear your home. But you need to let me know by commenting below and I can get those videos rolling for you. The only thing to keep in mind is your intention, your goal is to break up all the negative energy that is in the space you wish to cleanse. And then you need to clear out all of that negative energy and fill it back up with positive energy. Are you going to use sweet things like essential oils or citrus and rose water or different things like that? or your positive energy that you pull down and just push out into the space. It doesn't have to be a tool. You can use the energy of the universe to fill that space with positive energy and thoughts and happiness. Perhaps you just turn on some music and just let it fill the space with beautiful and positive energy. Next week, we are going to talk about time. A lot of you have expressed to me that you don't have the time to do all of these things. You don't have the time to put ritual or spiritual things into your life. So next week we are going to talk about how to involve spiritual spiritualness or spiritual activities or spiritual thought into everything that you do. So how to clean and cleanse your house spiritually, but do it by just doing your daily tasks. So how to put spiritual things into every little thing that you do so that your life is a spiritual life. It's not about, oh, I just go about doing my mundane things and I don't have time for my spirituality. I don't have time for that. I have to set aside specific times where I'm spiritual and specific times where I'm doing what I need to do in my daily life. It's how to incorporate that all into one thing. So next week, that's what we're going to talk about. A quick little heads up about some shop news. I am going to be having a really, really fun sale on Saturday. So it's going to be Saturday for 24 hours, which means it actually starts on Friday night at midnight. There will be five flash sales in 24 hours. So each deal will decrease as the sale goes on. So the best deals will be midnight on Friday night, actually Saturday morning. And of course, you have to be in the Transformational Healing Tribe to get an even better deal. So, I will be posting on social media, I will be sending out emails for each part of the sale. The sale is not on the Etsy shop. The sale is through email and through messages. So all the orders need to be placed by sending me an email or sending me a private message and the timestamps will be marked by what time you send the message and I will send you a PayPal invoice and you can pay for things that way. But if you are on the Transformational Healing Tribe, the email list, and I'll put that link right here, you can go to transformationalhealingbydonna.com forward slash tribe to sign up. And even the newbie members who have just signed up for the tribe will actually get in on this flash sale. It's not something that I normally do only make that exception for Black Friday and for this holiday shuffle sale. It is just super, super fun. So I want to make sure that you don't miss out. But the tribe will get a better deal for every single one of the sales and the sales are for limited times and you only get the deal during the time that you reply. So better reply really fast. I hope that I gave you some value this week. I know that I didn't go into detail about how to use each of those things. So I want you to comment below and let me know 
which things that you want to know specifically how to use, be sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And until next week, many blessings.